In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer crypto assets off of the Weeks crypto exchange using the mobile app. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. I also left you some timestamps in the description down below, so if there's any steps you're already familiar with, feel free to use those timestamps to skip to a section that might be most relevant to you. Let's get into the video. The first thing you need to do is make sure that your assets are in your spot account. So if your crypto is in your futures trading account, you'll have to internally transfer it from your futures account and back into your spot account. And there's no fee to get this done as it's simply an internal transfer. So to get this done, we're going to come down here and tap where it says assets. On this page here, we'll tap where it says transfer. This is going to bring you over to the transfer form that you can internally transfer your assets. Now it's configured to transfer from futures and into spot. So in this box here, we can choose how much we wish to transfer and you'll be able to see your available balance right here. So you can do a custom amount if you wish, like so, or if you want to transfer all of it, just tap here on all. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and just do 50 tether. So I'm going to type that in like this, close this keypad, and now we're going to come down here and tap on confirm. Now the funds were successfully transferred. So what we'll do from here is tap on the back button, top left hand side of the screen, make sure we're set to spot up at the top. And right here, you can see that 50 tether that I just sent from the futures account and into the spot account. The next step is to set up a fund password. And this is an extra layer of security that's necessary in order to make a withdrawal off this platform. So to set this up, we're going to come down here and tap on the home button, bottom left hand side of the screen. Then on the home page, we're going to tap on these dots, top left hand side of the screen. Then we're going to tap right here where it says security. Right here, you can see where it says funding password. Now I've already set mine, but if you need to set yours, just tap right here where it says funding password. And then on this page here, come up with the funding password, confirm that password, and then add it to your account. As I mentioned, I've already set up my fund password, so I'm just going to simply tap on the back button top left hand side of the app here. And I'll tap it again and again, and now we're back to the home page. Once you've set up your security passwords and your funds are in your spot account, you're now ready to make a withdrawal off of the Weeks platform. So to get that done, we're going to come down here and tap where it says assets. Then on this page here, we'll tap right here where it says withdraw. And this will bring you over to the crypto withdrawal form. So the first thing you want to do is choose the crypto that you wish to withdraw off of the platform by tapping right here. And you can select a crypto from this drop down here or an alternative that you can just search for one of the search bar up above. I'm perfectly fine demonstrating with Tether, so I'm just going to tap here on USDT. Next, you'll need to choose a network to complete this withdrawal over. And you can do that by tapping right here. And here's where you'll see a list of the available networks that you can use when withdrawing assets off of the platform. Some of these networks are faster and less in fees than others, but the main thing is make sure that wherever you're sending your crypto to supports one of these networks and that you select that network and match it to the network here that you're using on weeks. So for this demonstration, I'll go ahead and select the BEP20, which is the BNB smart chain. Next, I need to paste in the deposit address of the destination of where I'm sending my tether to into this box right here. So what I'll do is I'll just use another crypto exchange called Blowfin. So I'll quickly bring that into frame. Now that I'm on Blowfin, I need to find my Tether deposit address for the Binance Smart Chain. And I can see a deposit button right here. But with some apps, what you need to do is come down here and tap where it says Wallet. And then on this page here, you'll see a deposit button right here. And that's fairly universal with a lot of different apps for crypto exchanges. Now I need to select Tether, so I'll just quickly search for it, the search bar. There it is there, so I'll tap on that. And now I need to choose the correct network. So I selected the BNB Smart Chain over on Weeks. So I need to make sure I match it over here on Blowfin and I can see the BNB Smart Chain right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap on that. Now that I've selected Tether and the correct network, Blowfin is now giving me my deposit address for Tether on the Binance Smart Chain. So what I'll do from here is I'm going to copy that deposit address by tapping on these two little boxes right down here. Now I'm going to bring Weeks back into frame. Now that I'm back on Weeks, I need to paste in my Blowfin deposit address for Tether on the Binance Smart Chain into this box right here, just like this. 
Now I need to choose how much tether I wish to send from weeks and over to Blowfin in this box right here. Of course, you'll see your available balance right down here, so you can type in a custom amount. But for this demonstration, I'll just go ahead and tap on all to send everything. It's just 50 tether. Now that I've done all those steps, I can come down here and tap on submit. Now we need to do our security verification. So you can see in my case here that I'm using email verification as part of my two-factor authentication and as well as our funding password. We'll have to put it in here and that's the password that we came up with earlier in this tutorial. So what I like to do is put in the funding password first. Once that's in, tap on send to send the verification code to your email. Once that email arrives, retrieve the six-digit code, type it into this box here and then tap on confirm. Now that 50 tether is on its way from weeks and heading over to the Blowfin platform. Now a quick tip with this, if it's your first time withdrawing any crypto off the weeks exchange, whether you're sending it to another crypto exchange or a wallet address, just send a small amount first. Once the smaller amount arrives as you intended, then you can have the confidence to send larger amounts. Now I'll quickly bring Blowfin back into frame. Now that I'm back on Blowfin, you can see the balance increased from 14 tether to 6444 tether. If I come down here and tap on wallet, and make sure I'm set to funding up at the top, you can see the tether right here. And I already had about 14 tether in this account. So that has now increased to 63 tether. And there you have it. That's how you can transfer crypto assets off the week's crypto exchange using the mobile app. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also feel free to check out some other week's tutorials, which I put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.